This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so Joe Budden goes at Benzino and says, like, he's making it look bad to be over 55 and, you know, rapping. And then he talks about, like, Benzino and how he takes his shirt off all the time. It was a little weird. But Benzino comments on it. Like, he doesn't hang out with, um, this, you know, in hotels with one bed and two men. Okay? Like, let's be honest here, buddy. Uh, Benzino, you're on the spectrum in 4K. But, Joe, but, Joe. What the fuck is you talking about me coming out of a pool with water glistening on my body? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Now, let's be honest. Benzino's just checking the temperature to see if Joe Button's interested. Joe Button. Didn't you already admit to being a baloney smuggler? He's hoping that he'll accept the invitation to the Red Roof Inn, one king size bed. <laughs> I ain't never had no relationship. I never even met that transgender you talk about in person. I still. Don't know what that transgender looks like in person. Why don't you ask Melissa? Joe. I'm with anybody. Who knows what he says after that? Who cares what he says after that? Okay, then, um, you know, he's been going at Eminem. Oh, yeah, he says now he clam. What was the other thing he said earlier today? He said, we might have had a couple people in the studio and gave a couple lines, but I wrote it. I don't think you wrote it, my G. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Here it is. <laughs> is this it? I ate his up. Whoa. Pause. He says he ate M&M's up. Pause. Benzino says he won this round with M&M. I, I cooked him. Or was the one where he said he had a couple people in the <laughs> a couple people writing lines, like it was a collaborative effort? Come on, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People ask, "What did somebody write it?" Look, I was in the studio, and I was in the studio with some guys, and I was writing, and they was passing me lines, and it was just, "Yeah, yeah, you have a team. It's all right." I'm sure Eminem is in the studio with Royce and Royce then gave him lines of all the amazing lyricists that he's been around. You don't think that they ain't gave him a line or two? Probably not. It's hip hop. It's okay. The bottom line was I spit it. And the bottom line was I killed it. And the bottom line was a lot of that shit. I, I, I've been researching for years. As far as the, the, the stuff that's in it. Yeah, of course I wrote that. People ask what it's well, it is what it is, man. I don't think he wrote it. Island boys get mad after an interview asked them about kissing each other. This was on the Dazzin project. Eh, it was kind of like staging that fight with like Logan Paul before. I think they just wanted to have another moment like that. Well, supposedly Boston Richie's locked up. I, I have no idea, but supposedly he is for conspiracy. We'll see. Joe Rogan signs a new Spotify deal reportedly worth up to $250 million. It's not exclusive, so it can be uploaded everywhere. Now, to me, this means that Spotify is going to take in revenue from everywhere for this podcast. And they're going to give him like, you know, what, $50 million a year or something like that. He just got off a $200 million exclusive deal. <laughs> Damn, bro. Joe Rogan works hard, though. Nobody does more. Well, people do. But, like, his podcasts are very interesting. Well, not everyone is. But the ones 
he's all over the place, you know? So, like, some of them are really in-depth and interesting. You know, I breeze through some of them. But every once in a while, I'll have someone on there that really, like, gives you a lot of insight on different stuff. So I appreciate his podcast. Most Def is looking zesty. This is the police of hip hop. This is the guy that was saying Drake is pop. I love Most Def's music. But bro, this ain't, this is not hip hop. I'm sorry. Most Def has done lost his mind. After 2007, we didn't see Most Def for a decade. Okay. He got lost. I don't know where he is right now. Even the even the stairs look zesty. Even the little like wood art on the wall, the railing right there looks zesty. Nah, man. It's like he's trying to be little Uzi Vert. That's little Uzi Vert's lane, bro. Come on. Drake uh, is on that tour with J. Cole. IABB tour. What does that stand for? It's all a blur. That's what it is. Right. He's dry. I don't know what he's wearing on stage, but hey, he gave some like long speech on stage that was like, you know, I read a poem once. You're gonna be the right that the people you hang out with. You know, it's like, okay. Drake, come on, just give us the songs. <laughs> Tyrese. Sometimes I wish I was born Latino. This is what Tyrese said. I mean, the Latin community is a grounded, loyal family of entrepreneurs, businessmen, and women literally represent the dream, the grind, the hustle. If us as a black culture is more grounded in the, in, uh, in the nuances, let's see, uh, we would be dominant. I've learned a lot from the Jewish community sticking in. Come on, man. You know what, man? You can't make people be some way they don't want to be, okay? There's so many different cultures within the black community. White people don't really stick together. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Middle Eastern people, yeah, they, they help each other out. They come, they, see, they came over here together and built together. Like Chinese people, they'll like, they'll like all live in an apartment. Same with, um, They'll sacrifice like certain certain culture groups will I've seen they like sacrifice they'll like they'll like just all live in one apartment and then they'll like expand you know they'll get like another apartment and then you know, they build something they build their businesses up right not every guy I've never seen I don't see white people do that okay some black people do it but like they're usually like a Middle Eastern descent or they're like came from Africa Straight out, you know, straight from Africa. I've seen a, a group of African families do it. It's a beautiful thing when you can do that. But not everybody's going to do that, Tyrese. Not every Latino uh, people do it. Not all of them do it. Go to the go to the Mexican parts of most cities. They're 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 working hard and they're 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 struggling to get by, man. But it's not like they're grouping together and building up. There's certain groups that do do that, though. Like Italians used to do it. I don't know, man. You know, but you can't wish you were something else. Just be you and do best for your family. Sick of all the comparisons, you know? I don't know, man. Jeez. That makes me mad when people do that. It's like, stop comparing everything to everything. You can't make people do things they don't want to do, you know? Do what's best for your family, you know? Make a plan for your family. Your family's broken. Tyrese, bring it together. You're at odds with all your baby moms. Uh, you have struggles with your kids. Get your family together, bro. I hate it when people do that. Jeez. Can you imagine sitting around comparing your life to everybody else's? You get just a way to get nowhere. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you later. Peace.